Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're looking to disable the administrative shares on your Windows Server. So basically, administrators shares or administrative shares allow technicians to manage servers. And if you're just looking to disable this, perhaps you're an administrator of a Windows Server device and you're just looking to turn this off. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So pretty straightforward process guys and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just off click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back or registry editor. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now I would suggest you create a backup of the registry so if anything went wrong you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab and then select export. File name, normally the date that you're making the backup is what I'd recommend. Save it to a convenient location on your computer and then just export range, keep it at all. And if you ever need to import it back in you would select file and then import and then navigate to the location. So pretty straightforward. And now we're going to expand the HK local machine folder, so go double click on that. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. Same thing again, services. So you have expand the services there, and then we're going to look for LAN man server. So again, LAN man server. Right here. Double click on that. Should be a parameters folder under there. Go ahead and left click on that just one time. And now on the right side, you want to right click inside of a blank area, select new, and then select the word 32 bit value. Now you want to name this value as it appears on my screen, so it's going to be auto share server, exactly as it appears on my screen. The first letter of each word should be capitalized and no spaces in between any of these words. Hit enter on your keyboard to save that. Go ahead and make sure value data is set to zero, which it should be. You can see it in this column here. If you already had this value in here, you just would go double click on it and make sure value data is set to zero. Base doesn't really matter since the value is zero. Go ahead and select OK. Once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and close out of the registry here. And we are not quite done with this tutorial yet. So the next thing we're going to have to do is open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you're going to type in net, so N-E-T, space stop, space server, exactly as it appears on my screen. So again, net stop server. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this. And now we should see the server service has stopped successfully or will it stop successfully. And now we're going to type in net start server. So basically the same command we typed in before except we're replacing the stop with a start. And then we're going to hit enter. And it should say the service has been started successfully. And once you have a blinking cursor you can close it here. I would suggest you guys do restart your computer and that should hopefully be about it. I would suggest you guys restart your computer at this point just to make sure it takes effect. And that should hopefully be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do a bunch of people to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.